hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we created our to do's so now the time is to display this to do's in this uh, table right so let's go to the project and let me close this uh, other one like do's and stuff like that okay close this create and uh, this one so here we are receiving this uh, printing this table right so how we can display all of the stuff so let's go to the index method where we are returning this so uh, uh, index blade go to the index one this one so here we need to first uh, our get the to do's from the database so how we can do this so type to do and uh, hit enter and here you need to type all or you can also specify like uh, your specific column so you can define that uh, select uh, or you can also uh, uh, apply different like uh, you can also display that uh, where and you can get the where, uh, not where so you need to define your columns using select and then you need to call this get method here so i'm not going to use this because i have only two ones so that's why i'm going to do this to do's all so then i'm going to save this into the variables to do's because i'm i have multiples and here i'm going to pass this through an array so this to do's and here i'm also naming this to do's okay so now our this uh, to do's collection is available in this index method so here you need to first check that uh, we have to do's our not so let's go here and we are going to print this table if we have to do's so here i'm checking that it's if it's a blade directive and i'm checking that uh, to do's count because we have multiple to do's so it's in the collection so we can apply the count on this so it's a to do's and it's if the this is greater than so then it will display the table and uh, if these are not greater than so it will display else condition so what is the else condition so display that uh, no to do's created yet do's are created this no to do's are created yet okay so if the this to do is exists so we are going to go here and let's remove this and we are going to apply a for each loop because we are going to print all of our to do's so make this to do's and here we are going to make this single to do and then here i'm going to print this through first a table row and then i'm going to uh, make this through td right so it's td is responsible for this so uh, uh, to create the table data and then first to do i'm going to fetch its title right so it's going to display this title so let's go to the page and give it a refresh and yes it's uh, created uh, it's displaying its title create video so let's go to the second one so i'm going to uh, go here create the second one and it's a uh, to do description okay so give it a refresh so it's also displaying this one so let's go here and display them other so to do to do is completed okay and then we are going to display some actions like uh, buttons so we are going to display the edit button you can also no, it says that it's a view button and then it's a delete so delete is through we are going to display this through form because we are going to submit our form you know it's a type of uh, uh, submit you can also submit this through uh, href but uh, this is uh, good not good for security purposes so here i'm going to create a submit button and uh, getting the input hidden input field where i will pass this uh, uh, passes to do id so oops let me name this uh, as to do id and then value would be this form value so what is the value so value would be the 
to do id right i'm going to get this to do id and then i'm going to submit this so here i need to also make this uh, class of uh, btn btn uh, info and also i need to make this small but let's check this give it a refresh and yes now it is playing as expected right so let's go here and add this uh, btn sm so it will look more clear okay so it's uh, looking good so now the time is to check that uh, uh, is, it, is it completed or not so here we are receiving this uh, 0 and 1 so I'm not going to display like this I'm going to check that uh, if the to do to do uh, let me make this is completed if this is completed is equal equal 1 so then it's going to display a button of let me display uh, href okay so let me uh, copy this href from there I make this href and uh, here I'm going to assign these classes to this button I'm going to display this button so button is uh, displaying completed and uh, if this is zero so then I'm going to display this uh, it make this success right completed and if this is uh, not going to if it's zero so we can say that uh, incomplete in completed okay and we can make this uh, danger or something like this save this one give it a refresh and yes it's printing as uh, like uh, we define this here so let me make this uh, as html so how we can do this so let me check this so uh, it's a uh, we are defining that uh, button and stuff like that so let me check that so we are going to display this as a button so let me uh, remove this uh, mustachi sign and uh, type this a uh, php blade directive so we are going to execute the php code in this uh, blade directive okay so first we are going to check that if uh, i'm going to type the if condition and here i'm checking that if the to do uh, is completed is completed equal equal one so then i'm going to what i'm going to do this i'm going to do a uh, simple stuff so here we are displaying that to do is completed so i'm going to customize this so let me remove this one and uh, type this like uh, if so this is a blade directive so i'm uh, going to check this so uh, here like if the to do is uh, not this one if the to do is completed oops is completed equal equal one then i'm going to display this button it says that completed and uh, if the if this is equal zero so else else mean it's going to uh, it's equal to zero so i'm going to display that incomplete right so in complete so let me make this smaller and it would be a uh, danger or something like info so go here and give it a refresh and yes now it's displaying us incompleted right so now the time is to improve this one uh, submit view and stuff like that so go here and also make them a button so let me uh, copy this uh, button functionality to make them also a button so this one would be the edit and uh, this one would be the view so you can uh, make this edit and view the first one so you can also uh, type your icon here so i'm doing this for demonstration purposes okay and then you need to type this uh, view for success and this edit for info and uh, then uh, what's next and uh, we need to align them into one line so let me show you that we created three button 
and yes these three button are there so how we can align them into one line so let's go here and i'm shooting this uh, live and uh, telling you that how you can create your stuff like following uh, if you are facing some problems like uh, i'm here how can I align i'm uh, how to align these buttons into one line so i'm searching this on the google so i'm searching this uh, how you can search this so you can search your display button turn in line css in line css okay display radio button or stuff like that so you can search this from there and it's saying that flex and stuff like that but i'm not going to use this through flex so i'm going to search this different that uh, display not done in line css three line in the same and uh, go here and yes it's this one so first i need to define the outer div as uh, id of outer okay what is our outer div so this is outer div right so and then what is the inner so we need to define this uh, class of uh, inner this one to this one and what is the next so next is this one we need to assign this class of inner right and then what's the next we need to copy this stuff and uh, go to the top and here we are going to render our style right so i'm going to add a blade directive of section and uh, make this styles and uh, here let's uh, end this section and i'm going to paste uh, my style here style so if you want to define your custom style here so you can do this like this right so let me now add this style in the main script so go to the app and in the app this style will be rendered uh, here so naming this style so this style this style will be rendered here in this app great so let's go here and give it a refresh that is it working for us and yes it's working for us but it's containing a space so let's remove this space so how we can remove this close this one where and it's assign a width of 100 so let's remove this 100 and make this auto and give it a refresh and yes now these are properly aligned so we successfully aligned them into oh the video is uh, going very bigger so i will meet you in the next one bye bye